Okay, the simplest way to share with you what Grease Monkey is and what it does is to do a really quick demo. Like any Firefox add-on, you simply visit its page, a link to this uh, in our post, click on Add to Firefox, enable the add-on, restart Firefox, you're all set. In order to harness the power of Grease Monkey, you need to visit this site. It's called userscripts.org. As the name suggests, users have developed thousands and thousands of scripts to change the way that websites display. I'll give you a couple of very quick examples. Google. How often do you use this site? Let's see what scripts we can find for Google. And I've got one in mind that's a fairly dramatic change when you install it. It's called Google Enhanced Black. You find it here. As you can see, there are a lot of scripts available. But here's the, uh, the home page for Enhanced Black. Click on Install. A dialog box pops up. Click on This Install. And actually, you're done. Go to Google. Hit Refresh. It's thinking about it. And there we go. And the background is black. And if you uh, search for anything, the search results. Here's JetBlue will be in black as well. The background will be black. And the theory, of course, is that this is easier on your eyes. But let's say you don't like it. All you need to do is go down to the little grease monkey icon, right click, highlight manage user scripts, click on that, and the most recent script that you've installed will be at the bottom of the list. All you need to do is either uninstall it or unclick the enable box. That's what I'll do here. Hit close. Go back to Google, hit refresh, and it's returned to its previous state. Let's take a look at one more. The New York Times. Um, visit this site every day. And one of the things you'll see up in the uh, masthead, as it were, are these ads. Well, if we go over to userscripts.org, search for New York Times. We'll find a bunch of scripts relating to the Times. And one of the first ones we come across here is New York Times Ads Remover. Click on that. You know the routine by now. Click Install, Install again. Go back to the Times. Refresh the page. And those ads disappear. And again, if you don't like this, go back to uh, the, the uh, icon, right click, manage user scripts, I'll uninstall it right now. Close, refresh the page, and the ads are back. So any sites that you visit that are really popular, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Wikipedia, I imagine, there are, there are many scripts out there, and I would really encourage you to ch check out Grease Monkey and uh, see if it doesn't enhance your browsing experience.